Connect just happened and there are a lot of exciting things to talk about. First of all, the Quest 3 was announced and it looks great. It's powered by the new Snapdragon XR2 chip, has full color pass through, way higher resolution with the 10 times pixel density of the Quest 2, 2 times the GPU processing power and more than 33% in CPU performance. In addition to being slimmer and more comfortable. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get one. What about you? Quest 3 really shows what MR can be. It starts with the world around you but also a canvas that allows you to bring digital objects into the real world. This is not only a canvas for users but also a canvas for developers to build a completely new world of fun and useful experiences. So let's check out a couple of mixed reality samples and experiences, inspirations that you can check out to basically get an idea of what you can build that is actually useful. From new games that incorporate the world around you to education, media, productivity, design and much more. So first of all, we have this like piano vision, which is pretty cool. I mean, in a previous video, I'd already talked about you want to be really sure that the use case that you build actually makes sense for whatever it is. So for example, I gave like VR with a guitar it can be kind of complicated because the feeling and everything. But now here, this is a really interesting use case and I really like it actually. I even tried it out uh, some time ago. I mean, I'm not a professional uh, piano player, so I don't know if that is like the best way in learning these songs. But again, I think it's really cool for beginners to get a feeling for how these things can work and actually it is a lot more fun so this is a pretty cool use case so next with uh, immersed you can actually also use it for productivity kind of use cases so you can bring multiple um, windows into your virtual world basically you can switch natively to any kind of virtual meeting as well and you have a lot of flexibility you can bring your keyboard in which is also really helpful so like these kind of like productivity based ex experiences can be really helpful to again like whatever you custom want to build and the third inspiration for mixed reality use cases would be gravity sketch so you can actually also um, have like product showcases of your thing that you design in the real world and you can actually film it this way so it can be really interesting and really cool to showcase any kind of object whether it's like some engineering thing or some design thing and that can also enable you to do some more things like things bouncing off the wall or bouncing off the floor and your creativity is the limit here again. These are apps that developers came up with showing how it's possible to completely re-innovate in categories with Meta's new features. Next, I want to talk about Meta's presence platform capabilities. Originally launched, these capabilities are really important to build for their new devices. Why? Well, because they enable mixed reality experiences, hands-as input, and more embodied experiences as well. At Connect, Meta announced a lot of amazing new capabilities. First of all, there are API which was shown off in their really fast and almost magical room setup, their death API which should enable the next level of immersion in games where objects will be occluded from your view as they go behind real objects, multimodal inputs where you can now use both controllers and hands as input in addition to several new tools that will make development much easier, smart building blocks to use the SDKs quickly out of gates and Meta's XR simulator, which by the way, we also have tutorials for, so that you can test in the headset. So here we are in the Meta Presence platform page and we see already we get a good overview of the core buckets that Meta offers for creating immersive experiences. So first of all, we have the mixed reality section, then we have natural social presence, which I will get into in a second, and then we have intuitive interaction. So these are like the main buckets of creating for the Quest 3 and so on and so on, and all the other devices as well. And here that's like the basic um, getting started point. So here we will have the um, Oculus integration, I'm pretty sure about it, the Unity integration for Oculus and um, so on. And that is like your natural starting point basically. And now we have the capabilities and the amazing features that are enhanced a lot by actually upgrading to the Quest 3, which is a pass through so you can actually have a window into the physical reality on your Quest. And this is actually like a full color um, image so much better than the quest 2 and you can be really creative spatial anchors so you have a um, persistent reference of any virtual object so you can place a virtual window over here and then uh, next time you open the quest it will be on the same spot again so that is also really handy for a bunch of applications and then scene understanding is basically the quest gets awareness of the room you're in so first of all you can scan the room you can basically just walk around and then you get like um, an interpretation of this is a table 
this is a wall, this is the floor, and then you can build your applications based on that as well, which is pretty awesome for really like blending the physical and the digital world more and more together. In order to build mixed reality content that works best for Quest 3, you will need to build with Presence Platform, which has all of the capabilities required to build mixed reality experiences. Let's now check out the second part. Uh, over here, so natural social presence. What does it mean? Basically, it is enabling you to have experiences using eye tracking, face tracking, and full body tracking. So the interesting part here is it's pretty, pretty impressive and really cool that you can actually track the full body, including legs with just the headset. So no external sensors needed, no external cameras. You just have the headset and you are able to track the legs. Quick disclaimer here, of course, it will not be as 100% accurate as having a tracker. That's kind of obvious. So whenever you think about like, hey, it's not perfect, think about you don't need any external device. So this is pretty awesome. And finally, for the next big bucket, we have the intuitive interactions. So that covers a bunch of SDKs, actually. So if we go over here, we have the interaction SDK, the hand tracking, voice, audio, but then also bringing your virtual keyboard into the physical world and the other way around, bringing your physical keyboard in the virtual world that way. So if you want to build with mixed reality, you will use the MR SDK. If you want to build where you can use hands as input and interesting interactions, you can use the interaction SDK and if you want to build social VR experiences where the human interactions and focus you can use the movement SDK. At Connect they showed Lego brick tiles which leverages the pass through and scene capabilities to allow users to play a magical virtual board game and I love board games in the center of their living room and others like BAM which work when your friends are in the room with you as well as exciting new adventure games like Stranger Things. It's the presence platform capabilities like scene understanding that enable these games to have virtual objects interact with your real world objects to create completely new gameplay experiences. The media experience with MBA show the new types of viewing experiences that can be enabled when you aren't tied to one screen and Xbox Cloud Gaming, which means you can now game on a huge virtual screen wherever you like. So what should you do next? Definitely check out the Presence platform. I think it gives a really good overview of everything Meta has to offer in terms of creating immersive experiences. So this is like your go-to point for whatever you want to build, because here you also have the Unity package for getting started and you have a good overview and resources and everything you need for creating these experiences. So I will also leave a link in the description regarding the presence platform, definitely check it out. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and whatever you want us to teach you next or whatever you want us to cover next, let me also know. And thanks so much for listening. If you like the video, you know all of that stuff already and I see you in the next one.